Hello everyone. Right, this is my client Stevie. She's come back for a redesign for the new year. Um, her previous design, well, it well from months ago, it was a nudie, a nude set. Um, clearly with a bit of a boomer on it. So I have debulked back down to that first ever set. I have prepped and um infilled the regrowth. So I've used CJP's crystal glass. So people would say. What do you do when you're doing design sets if you're using coloured acrylic? What do you do? You've got to soak it all back off. No, you haven't because you're always going to go with um, a light or a nude or most of the time I use a crystal glass um, as my base layer and then I debulk back down to that. Now here I'm using Glam and Glitz's um, blend collection and this one's called Blackmail. How freaking easy is that? So easy because Glam and Glitz is so pigmented. I don't need to drain my brush. I don't need to dry my brush, I don't have to do anything with it um, because the colour stays, it is so pigmented that the colour stays even if you're working really, 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 really wet. So that's why I love it. Um, we've gone for this lovely chameleon glitter from Glitterati, so it's got lovely green and purple tones into it. Stevie wanted to go black and um, green and no. I know the client's always right, but I know she won't like it. I know she'll hate it. I knew she was going to hate it on day two. So we've kind of had a compromise. We found chameleon glitter would work better because she's still got her girly pinks and purples. Oh, I love you too, Ted. God, he's so cute. Mainly when he's sleeping, but there's exceptions right now. And he just told me he loved me. Hey. Right. Um, what are we doing now? I think we're having a little conflab, me and Stevie. I think this one is going to be all black. Right, let's talk. See here, tap, 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 wipe down the sidewall. I'll tap, 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 wipe down that sidewall. Not worrying what the middle is going to do because the cuticle and sidewalls will catch you out if you don't make sure that they're beautiful to begin with. So they need to be flush and flat and just really, really nice. So the rest you can work with. Um, so that's how I make my colour... Um, acrylic that's how I apply it I apply it like I would do a gel polish so I kind of bounce around the cuticle and then wipe down bounce bounce wipe down just just really nice make sure that cuticle and sidewalls are really lovely because they will come back and bite you on the ass if you don't make sure that they're lovely from the get-go so again a bit more of the chameleon glitter I do not mix my glitters I do not mix them with um, clear acrylic beforehand because I then can't go and use it with a gel polish client so I keep it all raw um, so to apply it I will dip my brush into clear acrylic picking up a bead the size of an eye bogey and then dipping it into raw glitter and then I apply it to the nail right this nail is going to be all black because this one I'm going to rub a chameleon chrome into it afterwards um, it is from Glitterati, but they don't have it anymore. But I have secret information that something is coming. Something is coming to Glitterati that is amazing. It's going to be a lovely chrome. Um, so, yeah, watch it. Just watch the space. Right, let's talk through this thumb. I'm going to show you. Apply at the cuticle. Tap, tap, tap with the tip of your brush and wipe down the sidewall. Tap, tap, tap tap wipe down the sidewall now we worry about the middle and we're just going to walk and then paint it down the center of the nail i will show you what stevie's arm is resting on tomorrow i'll grab a video and show you but what i do i keep my client's hands really elevated that way gravity's doing all the work for you you haven't got to worry about where that product's going so whilst i'm tap 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 wiping down that product that's in the middle it doesn't matter because it's not going to flood anything the only place it's going to go is downwards because gravity's doing its thing and like i've said before it does do its thing because we'd all be floating around if it wasn't so just just go with the gravity believe in the gravity i believe in it and it works so yeah more chameleon glitter like i say it's a really simple set this one but hopefully you will see how i'm applying those colored acrylics and with black acrylic Jeez, it's like nasty. Um, I shout at Stevie. I'm like, don't move, don't breathe. Do you need to breathe? Um, so yeah, so it will catch you out. But 
if you follow, I think my techniques are, I think it, I think it works. And again, I don't keep wiping my brush. My brush is full of fuel. I keep feeding that bead. If I'd have gone and wiped my brush a million times right now, I would have dried that brush. And every time I'm touching that bead, I'm gonna dry that bead. And that bead's gonna become a big lump of black rock that I'm not gonna move. It's gonna look like coal. So keep your brush nice and wet and let it glide. Let it do its thing. Um, so that's it. Also, I really hope no one's offended by my fingers in this video because some bloody Susan on my Instagram said they looked ugly. Um, yeah, they do look shit, really. Um, but yeah, I can't. Yeah, my nails look shit. I don't know why she really had to tell me. But um, Susan, if you do watch this, because like haters normally do, don't they? Um, I can go and make my nails look beautiful. You, my friend, are always going to look like that. So I'm really, really sorry. Um, there we go. Yeah, I feel so much better. It's like, yeah, yeah, I feel good now. I feel good. I'm not that good though because I've got the bloody sugar come downs. So I'm trying to bloody, I'm trying to diet. Oh God, it's so fucking hard, isn't it? I'm trying to diet. I've got the shakes. I need to be locked in a room or something. I've done Slimming World for six years and put on two stone. That's basically my life. I'm a pro yo at dieting. So, um, yeah. Don't fuck with me, Susan. Don't tell me my fingers are ugly because I'm going to come for you. Right, let's encapsulate these nails and move on from the horrible people. So straight the cuticle, same as I've done all of my colored. Straight the cuticle, tap, tap, tap. Wipe down them side walls. Don't worry about the middle because gravity's going to do it for you. So just make sure everything else is neat and lovely. I'm going to let you just watch this and I'll come back in in a minute when we're going to do some chromes. Um... I'm probably just going to go and find something to eat. Hi, it's me again. Right, so non-wipe top coat. I'm using Premier Gels non-wipe. It is literally the shiniest top coat. Oh God, it gets louder as soon as I press record. So apologies for the background music of Sir Teddington and the sing song. So yeah, non-wipe from Premier Gel. I'm gonna cure that. And then when it comes out the lamp, I'm gonna put the chameleon glitter onto this finger right here. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to top coat straight over that as well. I don't think I've got it in here, but I do file the edges. So once I've put that chameleon glitter on, that chameleon chrome on to the finger, I run my file around the free edge and on the tip of the extension, and um, then I can top coat on it again. That way, I've roughed the sides up, the other way, because the chameleon chrome will leave it shiny and not really stick to it. I want to cling to the raw acrylic that is underneath it so I just sharpen the edges up 
before I top coat the final. Right, I think that's it. That's this set. Guys, I'm really crap at technology, so I try and link everybody in the description box, but for some reason, my own bloody Instagram won't link. So try and find me. I don't think there's many Kylie's, but... Well, there probably is, but my, spelt my way, K-Y-L-E-A, um, you might find me. I have got a competition on there. A few posts down. Um, if you just go and put your name on it, in a few weeks' time, I will choose somebody to win a free one-to-one -one with me. It'll be a right crack. Please don't apply if you're offended by foul language and um, bad sense of humour. There will be cake provided. Mwah! Love you all. Bye!